You know, it's really nice to see Mike Doria finally open up a little bit, uh, you know, have some personality. Yeah, it took a while, though. Mm -hmm. You know, he's been so reserved, <laughs> you know. We almost thought he wasn't going to be a part of our morning show today, you know. I know. Yeah, I so know. we <laughs> decided to send him to some improv classes over at the space. And uh, Mike, are you now part of their new comedy show? Did they include you? Very Is this thing on? Are we on live TV? Oh. <laughs> Get out of your shell. In the back. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Come out of my shell. All right. Listen, you guys know that song. You do run, run, run. You do run, run. Yes. Well, they've come up with something. It's now a rap. So just, just watch. Awesome. Your name's Bob. Please begin. Yeah. Oh. oh. I knew this guy and his name is Bob. To do yeah. rap, rap, rap. To do rap, rap. Yo, Bob likes to eat corn on the cob. To, to do rap, rap, rap. rap, rap to do rap, rap, rap. Say what? He loved to hobnob. Say, Say what? what? He was a big slob. Say, Say what? what? And he turned the knob. To, to do rap, 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 rap. To do rap, rap. Him and his friends would laugh. <laughs> to do rap, rap, rap. To do rap, rap. Working nine to five at his everyday job. Kind of like I do with nine to five. Right. So the goal of this song is, if you don't rhyme, you're eliminated. Um, that's why me and Mark Chinook are standing yeah, on the side I, of the I would be eliminated quickly. I'm like I can't yeah. think this early in the morning. Yeah, this is a little early for this. Um, I love the space here. So one of the places people can do improv, take classes that just started, and then you have the comedy sports. Talk a little bit about that. I, they came to me. They approached me and they said, "Hey, man, we want to bring comedy sports to Las Vegas. You know, it's a nationally recognized uh, improv group, and to have them make their home here." At the space is a, is a great win for our facility and having them here is just a treat so classes are ongoing on Tuesdays shows are on Saturdays it's just a lot of fun and I, you know I, I did improv all this year and loved it so there is not enough of that in time for people to do because there's you can just have so much fun with it it's really addicting you just want to keep going back I think everybody should take an improv class I, do too. I, think it's, I think it's very important it's not just for actors and performers everybody should get out and take an improv class it's just it, you learn so much from it it's freeing it's liberating you learn a lot about who you you are and I think that's important and we've been laughing like idiots all morning so there is something useful so we got the show this Saturday uh, October 20th at what time uh, I believe there shows at 7 o'clock yep. the space lv.com good so get your tickets and there they go so I don't know if I'm gonna rap I feel like um, when I took improv it actually helped I think my news reporting helped the improv it wasn't the other way around Jason and Maria so no. your news reporting helped your improv but your improv. Yeah, like I'm so, like okay. I'm a lunatic on the news. So right, that so it helped helps. the improv. Usually people take improv to loosen up. It was the other way around with me. And yeah. you, you know what, Mike? That's um, what I'm going with. Not just reporters taking improv, but also CEOs of big companies taking yeah. improv. Yeah. All right, well, I got to get back to rehearsals now, you <laughs> yeah, two. Of course. I mean, we don't like, want to keep shows you. coming up and plus a new trip. Yeah, so you <laughs> get back to the news. We're no longer his Fox 5 family. He found a new he family. He found a new family.